If you're watching this video, we'll assume that you have already purchased the Breakerless SE Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit, part number 38131, for your vehicle, and know that it will work on all GM Delco V8 distributors, equipped with breaker points, either single or dual, points adjustment window on the distributor cap, screw-on type rotor, and a stock or original type ignition coil. If you need more information about the benefits and functionality of the Breakerless SE system, please see our other video. How to install the Breakerless SE Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit. First, remove your distributor cap. Next, remove your rotor. Next, remove your points and condenser. and disconnect your distributor to coil wire. By the way, the Breakerless SE will work on both single or dual point distributors. This is also the perfect time to inspect your distributor for any problems and get them corrected before installing the conversion kit. Next, we'll use one of the slotted 10 by 32 by one inch button head screws to run in and out of the rotor mounting holes just to clean up the threads. Next we'll get our two-piece vein assembly. As you can see the two halves will nest together to form a circle. Insert one of the slotted 10 by 32 by 1 inch button head screws through one side of the vein assembly. Place the halves around the distributor shaft. Using the included flat blade screwdriver, insert the screwdriver into the slot on the end of the screw through the existing rotor mounting hole. Turn the screw counterclockwise to thread the assembly up and snug to the mounting ear. You may need to use needle nose pliers to help elevate the screw from the bottom. Do not tighten the screw. Repeat for the other side. Then, using the included 1 8 inch hex wrench, tighten both screws from the bottom. Next, we'll get our module. Install the 632 by quarter inch brass binding head screw into the module, but do not tighten. There is a locating bump on the distributor's point plate that must be lined up with the corresponding hole in the bottom of the module so that the module sits flush with the point plate. Work the module through the vein assembly opening and position where the points used to be. Then, get your two 832 by 3 quarter inch filister screws and number 10 split lock washers. These will be used to fasten the module to the point plate. You'll want to use a larger flat blade screwdriver on these screws. Do not completely tighten down the screws yet. Next, get the flexible wire clamp. Using the other 832 by 3 quarter inch filister screw and split lock washer, the wire clamp will be mounted closest to the entry point of the distributor lead wire.
When tightening down the screw, position the wire clamp facing outward and parallel to the module in this position. Then tighten down the other screw. Now to show you how simple our one wire system is, you'll fasten your existing distributor to coil lead wire to the small brass screw on the module. Make sure you position the lead wire above the wire clamp. Then tighten down the screw. You're done with the wiring. Next we'll address the wire clamp. The wire clamp should face outward and be wrapped around the lead wire to keep it away from the vein assembly, as shown here. The use of needle nose pliers may be helpful to bend the clamp. Now turn the distributor shaft to ensure that the vein assembly does not strike the module or interfere with the wire clamp and lead wire. Next we'll address our rotor. If necessary, you may need to enlarge both of the rotor mounting holes with a 7 32nd inch drill bit. On the bottom of the rotor, you may also need to file down both round and square indexing pegs to less than one eighth of an inch, as to not interfere with the vein assembly underneath. On the bottom of the rotor, there will be a square and round indexing peg. Match the corresponding pegs on the rotor to those on the distributor. Insert the rotor onto the two mounting screws and secure the rotor with the two 10 by 32 hex nuts and number 8 split lock washers. Tighten the screws with a 5 16th inch nut driver or box end wrench. And lastly, install the distributor cap. The Brakeless SE Single Wire Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit is now installed. The Brakeless SE Kit can be purchased from Electric Limited, part number 38131.